If you're going on the incredible celebrity beyond, here are some things you absolutely cannot miss. Welcome back to Cruise News and Booze, where we sit down, have a drink, <laughs> yeah. and talk about all things cruise related. We have a really fun video for you guys today talking about all of the things you absolutely must do if you're going on the Celebrity Beyond. It's sometimes going on a cruise, if it's like your first cruise or first time on a certain line or ship, it can be really overwhelming with all the options and all the things that there is to do on these beautiful ships. You don't want to be that person on the last day just finding something really spectacular. So um, these are the things that we found during our time there that we think are absolutely must do's. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Make sure you are subscribed so you can see all of our upcoming videos. And let's get right into it. We did the work for you. We took the cruise <laughs> to get to, to let you know everything you need to do. Yep. These are the things that we think are really going to set this cruise apart for you. And these are the things you don't want to miss. We're going to go pretty quick. We're going to go rapid fire here. So keep hold up. on tight. <laughs> and as Molly said, keep up. So we're going to start on the first day of your cruise. I think this is a really great way to start off your cruise because, uh, you know, you're there on the water and you want to have a great water view. And a way that you can do that is on the back of the ship, right off the buffet, is a really great El Fresco dining area. So you can get your food on the at the buffet and then you could come out to this area, have some really nice fresh air and sunshine, get those great views, and it really sets the mood for your whole cruise. And as your cruise is ready to take off, make sure you land yourself a seat on that big old orange thing that goes up and down <laughs> called the Magic Carpet. That's the spot you want to be at for sail away, incredible views as you sail out of the port off into the ocean. <clears throat> Now, you do not want to miss on the very back of the ship is what's called a sunset bar. So we highly recommend you spend, I don't know, a large portion of your time at this bar because <laughs> the drinks are exceptional. And it's just an amazing view, as it says, sunset. So it's got really nice views to, sunder, to set the sun during the day. And it's a lot of shade. There's a lot of seats. There. There's a lot of shade, but you can also be in the sun. You can have a really great time back there at the sunset bar. Now, one bar you do not want to miss is the show at the martini bar. So these bartenders do all sorts of flares. They're throwing things, juggling bottles and things like that. But at nighttime, as the party continues, <laughs> DJ Martini Beats lights up the night. This is a party you do not want to miss. So much fun. So many great sing-alongs. The drinks keep flowing. It's, I'm telling you, we haven't partied like that in a <laughs> long time. And we highly recommend that you guys do the same thing as well. Yeah, it's a really great time. The next thing that you really don't want to miss is one of their main theater productions. And the show in particular that I'm talking about is called Arte. And it is a celebration of fine art and artists throughout the ages. It's just a really beautiful show to watch. It's visually stunning. Their theater is spectacular because there's screens all the way around you can see these beautiful pieces of art and the i mean the talent during the show is incredible really great aerialist and contortionist things like that just an absolutely great show that you want to see moving on to another show that they did in the main theater that i think is definitely worth watching and this one is called elements which goes through all of the elements in nature. It's just a really beautiful show as well. Very visual. Once again, they have their aerialist and um, different talent that they bring in. Different aerialists and acrobats that they have on the ship. It's just fantastic and you absolutely must see it. And if you want to, you know, have a laugh, they have a show, which I've never seen on any other cruise line, but they had a show that they did, which is called the Liars Club. So the cruise director, Shauna, was putting on and kind of hosting this show. It was her, another member of the um, talent production, and then their captain. At the time, the captain was Captain Leo. They were all on the stage together playing this Liars Club game. Everyone was trying to guess which one of them was lying. It was absolutely hilarious, an amazing time, and uh, I highly, highly recommend it. 
Make sure you check out the Eden Bar. Again, at the back of the ship on deck six, I think it is. Uh, this is a very imaginative lounge. There's a lot of greenery. It's supposed to be like the Garden of Eden. Cocktails are just absolutely insanely, just the craziest types <laughs> of concoctions you could think of. Just off the wall things. But it's also a really nice lounge throughout the day. And they also do a show inside of the Eden Lounge. One of the ones that we got to see was Decadence, which again, it's a completely different production staff than who they have in the theater show. So this is all different talent. It's the, the whole lounge becomes the stage in essence. It's just really cool how they're interacting with the, the different areas in the lounge and just, it's a can't miss. And if you're really into craft cocktails, you've got to try out the world-class bar. I just talked about bars this whole time. That, that's all I'm talking about. Uh, I, I like to drink. So the World Class Bar is a very unique, sophisticated take on a craft cocktail bar. The bartenders have a lot of experience. They know what they're doing. Very particular about their craft and the tools they use and the beverages they make. You can only get certain drinks at this bar. They don't have mixers and blenders and different things like that to make your frou -frou fruity drinks. You're going to get what's on the menu and that's it. Unless you've got a really nice cocktail in mind that they can make with the ingredients they have. They're going to tell you no. <laughs> and you can't get those drinks anywhere else on the ship. Yeah. So that's specific there. If you want these drinks, you have to go there. Another really cool feature on the Celebrity Beyond is what they call the plunge pools. And the first thing that we really liked about that is they were a lot less crowded than the main pool. The main pool there does get pretty crowded. But these plunge pools were on the side of the ship. They are all clear, so you have a great view out, especially if you're in port. It was the days we especially enjoyed these pools. But um, they were very often empty. So that was a great way to be able to spend some time and cool off and have a little privacy. Also, while you're over there by the plunge pools, they do have some cabanas that are completely free, which is really nice because a lot of cruise lines charge for all of their cabanas. But on this side by the plunge pools, these cabanas are free. I do want to point out that there are some cabanas by the main pool that you do have to pay for. They are an extra charge there, but they're usually roped off and it does kind of state that. So um, the ones that are there, <clears throat> like I said, by the plunge pool, by the sunset bar, those are completely free. Great views, great way to kind of sit down, have a drink and really enjoy a cabana. Get your relax on. Yes, <laughs> include it. And if you're feeling like you want to work up a little bit of a sweat, you can go to what they call the rooftop garden. This is where they have a lot of their activities such as pickleball or Zumba. And I just thought it was a really great location to do some of these things. It was really pretty, really nice, and uh, just a nice getting you in the mindset of being outdoors and active. They also did some movies out there, which was a really great place to sit back and kick up your feet and watch a good movie. And if you're in a live music all over this ship throughout the day, mostly in the evening times, but during the early afternoons, they've got live music. So it's kind of playing in different spots all over the, all over the place, all over the ship. There were five or six, I think, different rotations of singer songwriters, yeah. duos, that type of stuff. It was, it was really nice to see a nice variety. So if you didn't care for one, that's, you could go see a different one. You didn't have to see that same person everywhere you went. So we thought that was really cool. Yep. And last but certainly not least, I think you should try all four of the main dining rooms. And this is kind of something that's different on Celebrity where they have four different dining rooms with four different themes. And you can try each one and they're all included. We did a video on all four of these and our personal thoughts. If you want to check that out, I will link it. But um, I personally think you should try all four and decide for yourself because they each have a separate menu that is specifically for them. And then they have the classic menu that you can get in any of them. So it's just a different experience. There's different decor in each one. And it's just, uh, it makes it feel like you're going, you know, it's more of an experience going to dinner every night and trying something new. So I would highly recommend doing that. So that wraps it up for us today. I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with us for our Celebrity Beyond must-dos, things that you cannot miss. If you did have fun, you should go check out the Cruise News and Booze Happy Hour podcast anywhere that you get your favorite podcast. That's where we sit down for a full hour every week. We go really in-depth on different cruise topics and conversations. 
Hope you guys go check that out. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. If you like it, make sure you hit that subscribe button for us to uh, count up on the number of subscribers <laughs> we've got. And um, I think that kind of wraps it up for us today, Molly. That's all for us today. We'll see you next time. Cheers.